You know, one of the questions I get asked most of all is, how do you get that sound? How do you get that great tone? Now, there's a lot of different components to it, but of course, one of the main components of getting a great sound on saxophone is your embouchure. And of course, your embouchure is just the way you arrange your teeth and lips around the mouthpiece. Now, this can be seen as a very complicated process, or it can be seen as something extremely simple. So today I'm going down the simple route. I'm going to teach you to do one extremely simple thing. <laughs> and when you do it, hopefully your saxophone sound will open up and you'll get that rich, full singing tone instead of that slightly thin, weedy, kind of brittle sound, which you might be more accustomed to. <laughs> so just before I teach you that one little tip, Let's have a little look at some fantastic saxophone players and see what's going on with their embouchure. Now, sometimes when you look at the outside of someone's embouchure, it doesn't give you the full picture, but it certainly gives us a big clue. So check out these embouchures and then I'll teach you the one tip. So the one thing that all these people have got in common is that the sides of their embouchure go forward a bit and their lip is slightly turned out. Now this is not necessarily the embouchure which is going to work for every style of saxophone. If you're playing classical saxophone, this might not be an appropriate embouchure. But if you just want a good, you know, jazz, pop, funk, um, overall kind of commercial music saxophone sound, which most people who watch this channel do, this is what you do now. The sides of your embouchure have to come forward and in a bit and your lip has to go slightly out. So all you have to do is make this shape with your mouth. And then all you have to do is put your mouthpiece in and don't change anything and just blow like mad and you should get a nice big sound. So let's try it out, okay? Let's get the old, uh, the old guppy shape going like that. Mouthpiece in. <laughs> I'm going to blow an out and then just take the, the instrument away, look. Like. <laughs> now, you'll notice what I'm not doing is this. <laughs> if you're doing that and you're pulling your mouth to the side, you're going to get a pretty thin and nasty sound. So remember, fold it in at the sides, get that kind of pouty lip going you know a bit like uh anybody that's got teenage daughters and they're all taking selfies it's that kind of look that is the shape which is going to give you that really big rich sax sound <laughs> So this week's video is what you might call short and sweet, but powerful and effective. So remember, keep that keep that bad one nice and relaxed, forward and in, pouty bottom lip, and you're good to go. Just don't do too much with your embouchure. Most people really overthink it. You've just got to let the saxophone speak. You've got to let that reed vibrate. Now, if you want a whole load more really cool teaching, you can go and check out my Saxophone Success Masterclass using the link that you can see there. And um, also, of course, there are tips like this all the time and a lot more besides inside the Inner Circle membership. We've had loads of great guests, including Lenny Pickett recently. And there is um, a bonus video every week for the, it's called the YouTube Backstage Pass. <laughs> and it's super powerful. And of course, it's the only way that you can get direct access to me. So check out The Inner Circle. If you bought me a coffee, I really appreciate it. You can also buy me a coffee using the link that you can see there. So good luck when you're on, Bashar. Here's to your new awesome sound. And until next week, make sure you practice hard, practice smart, and enjoy your music. I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson. Thanks for watching. Get your sax together. See you later. Guppy, guppy, guppy fish. Alrighty. Job done.